Living with a wife that has won two big races in two weeks can be very tough. Every night before bed, she heckles me. Let this be a reminder to you all that this organization will not tolerate failure. With that in mind, I gave it a good go at Oceanside. Hitting my bike rack after the swim, I was very surprised to see Sebastian Kinla, Matt Lietto, and Jordan Rapp's bikes still on the rack. My hopes of staying with Kinla were quickly burned after he put 15 seconds on me in the first 200 meters of the ride. He is world champion, but still kind of demoralizing. With visions of tonight's wife talk, I was like, I'm still alive, only I'm very badly burned. A little ways into the ride, I saw Ben Hoffman standing on the side of the road. My initial thought was he must have crashed. When I yelled at him, I swear he yelled back. Perhaps you could toss me a band-aid or some antibacterial cream. It wasn't until mile 35 where I started to feel quite good on the bike, bringing back a few of the speedy swimmers. Soon enough, Hector Guerra, an ex-drugged-up pro cyclist, came absolutely flying past me. He was like, You think the bicycle is your ally? You merely adopted the bike. I was born with it, molded by it. Getting off the bike, I was in a lonely place. A little unmotivated to really suffer to the extreme on the run, but I still ran fairly hard and managed to catch a few stragglers, coming away with an eighth place. I asked Paula for a hug regardless. Can I have a hug? No. Give me a hug. No way. Come here. I'm not coming over there. Let's go. Forget it.